guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle, and today I have a hair review for you guys on the Remington Hot Rollers. I am so excited to go over these with you guys, tell you guys what I thought about them, and give you guys my first impressions. So if you guys want to see, then please keep watching. Okay, so like I said in the intro today, we are going over the Remington Pro Hot Curlers. I am so excited about these. Um, I did do a review on, I think they were Remington Hot Curlers. Um, they weren't the Pro ones. I'll link that video above right here where you guys, that video is like, I think like almost two years old. So when I saw these, I was super excited. One, because in the original video, the Hot Rollers are a lot smaller. I believe they're three fourth inch and a one inch these right here are a one inch and a one and one fourth inch so i do like that they are bigger and the way i've been styling my hair lately is i've been actually curling it and then putting it in regular rollers i've been actually putting it in these rollers right here so if i can skip the step of curling my hair and putting the rollers and just using one product then i say that is a win so i'm super excited to try this so so before we go over the details of the video i figure we should just go ahead and plug it in and let it get warm and then I'll go over the details with you guys when you pull it out it just looks like this so all the rollers are compact right here I like that it's pretty sleek and it will be easy to store away um I would take off I would take off the top part because you don't want it to burn or anything okay so this is what it looks like I don't I don't know if there's like an on button let me see well when I turned it on this little button turned orange or like red so I assume that it is on we'll go ahead and read it actually yeah I think I feel that it's already on so let's see let's see the details about this to be honest I really didn't even really do my research on this I uh, just saw it on Amazon which I will link down below for you guys and I was like oh that looks cool I want to try it so that's pretty much all I know about it sorry about the lighting it's actually getting it's like almost evening so the lighting is a little weird and i usually don't like bringing my ring light because then you can see it off the glass because so you can already see my shadow um so sorry about the lighting in this video anyways um okay so it says pearl ceramic technology for faster salon results it says ceramic with real crushed pearls mm, we'll just take the word for it and then it comes with 20 ceramic rollers in two sizes like I said it comes in the one and one fourth inch and in the one inch which I love because the original Remington kit I have I believe only had 10 like I don't even know how I did my hair so I'm really glad that there are 20 pieces in 20 pieces in here it says dual heated rollers and clips for long lasting curls in five minutes oh so you don't even have to leave it that long cool um there's a clip design 90 second heat up Space saving full set size. Okay. Okay, and then in the back it just shows you two different ways to use it. So one says to create volume and loose curls. You're gonna start halfway down the section of hair, begin rolling the top half of the hair around the roller towards your roots. Oh, okay, I get it. When hair is rolled to the roots, roll the bottom section. Yeah, yeah, I get what that means. Okay, and then create broken waves, twist the hair and then start trolling around the barrel okay cool i'm just gonna do what feels natural or right to me um i think they're ready to go yeah actually they feel they feel warm already cool so i'll just show you guys they have the smaller ones right here and then these are the larger ones and all they do is you slip off and they're warm but they're not like hot like obviously i'm touching them they're not burning my hand the point of this is that the rollers stay in your hair longer, so they're gonna stay about 10 to 15 minutes. And then that's enough heat that they're giving off right now to have on for 10 to 15 minutes. And then instead of like a regular curling iron where you like only leave it on for about like maybe like 20 seconds at the most, so they won't burn your hair. But I always say it's just a disclaimer if you're not sure about something, I would start with a bottom section of my hair and maybe try it out for like five minutes. And if you know your hair can handle it, then build it up like i said i know my hair can take the heat so i probably will leave it for the full 15 minutes um so yeah so they're already ready to go so let's go ahead and go over it so this is my natural hair right here i don't have extensions and i actually think with the amount of clips i probably could wear my extensions um but for this video i'm gonna do it extension free 
And then all I have in my hair so far is the Paul Mitchell Boosted Spray. I love this spray. So I spray it when I get out of the shower. I have my hair wet. I spray this, then I blow dry it. And then I put this in the Paul Mitchell Thicken Up. The Paul Mitchell Extra Body Thicken Up Gel. Um, I just like, I just like the volume and texture that it gets to my hair. So that's all I have in my hair right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is section my hair off. I'm going to start with the bottom section. Okay, so for the bottom section of my hair, I'm actually going to take the smaller rollers first. I like using the smaller rollers on the bottom section of my hair because they're what's going to give you a tighter curl and then on top you can have the most volume with the larger curler hot curlers um i just like that technique because i feel like the bottom curls like whenever i just normally curl my hair this loses a lot of volume in the curl maybe because you know your hair like naturally sweats or oils or constantly touching it um and then the top usually stays a volumized so like i said i'm gonna start with the bottom one i'm gonna start with the bottom section of my hair and use the smallest rollers so they just come like this and then you take the clip off. You're gonna grab a section of your hair. So I'm just gonna roll it. And I'm not like really precise with my curls. Like I like when my curls are messy. So I'm not sure if I'm doing this the broken way or the volumized way, but we will find out. So once it's in, then you go ahead and clip it, which I love that. That makes it just so much easier because you can see it's going to stay in place. Um, this side's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to pull it in two sections. They are hot, like, right here. Um, that's obviously where the warmth comes from, so just be careful. But, like, you can see I'm touching the roller itself, and it's warm, but, like, it's doable. I'm actually excited because there's like a lot of, ooh, careful. It is pretty hot, like I said, on the ends right here, and it just like touched my skin. Um, I'm okay, but like, just be careful. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying that I'm so excited that, there, that there's so many curlers in this set because like I said, I totally could use my extensions with this. So if you have a lot of hair, like naturally I have a lot of hair, like this is perfect. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start using the larger ones because there's 10 larger ones and I think that's going to be way more than enough for the top section of my hair. Um, I actually think I could have just done 10 all over my head, which is probably what I would have naturally done, but I want to see what the small curls look like, so, and I wanted to show you guys too, so. Um, now I'm going to start using the larger hot curlers for this section of hair. Um, I'm going to split it into two. So you can see it's pretty easy to roll up. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the middle section of my hair and then check back in with you guys. Okay, I just finished. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Okay, I just finished the second section of my hair. Um, they do give off a lot of heat. Like, luckily, today is, like, a colder day here. But they actually kind of give off a lot of heat. So, you know, just fair warning. Um, but other than that, they're pretty lightweight. They feel really comfortable. Um, I'm just super excited to see how it turns out. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the top section of my hair. And I'll check back in with you guys. I am finally done. I have them all set in my hair. Remember to go ahead and turn off. Oop. Remember to go ahead and turn off your device. I am struggling. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to leave them on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Like I said, if you're not really sure with your hair, start off low, go 10 minutes. But I know my hair can handle the 15 minutes. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and sit for 15 minutes and then we'll unravel them together. So it's been 15 minutes. A good way to check is if they're cool and like they don't feel like they're radiating, radiating any more heat. So I would say that they're ready to go. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and start unraveling the bottom ones first. Ooh, ooh, curly. Might be a little too curly for my liking, but 
it'll fall flat and we'll brush it out. What I like about these like velvet rollers is that the hair like slips off them really quick. I feel like my other ones aren't velvet. I don't know what they are. Um, but this one like the roller just like falls out and the reason why I like hot rollers too is because like look you could put them on and then go get ready so I feel like they are like maximizing time so that's what I really enjoy about them so it's kind of like really really curly um let's see usually I don't like my curls this curly so let's just see let's keep unraveling <laughs> Um, I think these are starting to be the bigger ones now. That's better. Yeah, much better. The other ones were like really curly because they were the smaller ones. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up this process. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and speed up the process and let's go ahead and wrap it. Okay, hair is unraveled. I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a definitely kind of weird. Um, and it's maybe if I didn't have so many layers in my hair, it would be a lot better. Um, and also, I mean, the other thing is with my other rollers, I like the way that my hair turned out. Like, I'm not digging this at all, to be honest. Um, if you want a really tighter curl, then you might actually like this. And what I do actually like about it is that my hair feels really soft and it's really bouncy, so I do enjoy that. And if I were to put my hair up, like, I think that is super pretty. Um, but for me to wear it down, nah, I don't really like it. So I would... Uh, if I did this, it's knowing that I was going to put my hair up. Um, it's all right. Like, it's just not my favorite way. I was kind of hoping that it would be my favorite way. Um, it's just not. So, do I think it's worth it? Uh, I mean, to me, like, another reason why I liked my other hot rollers, too, was because if I was getting ready for an event and I needed my hair curled, like, I think that was the perfect way to go. But, like I said, the only way I would wear these or use these is if I knew I was putting my hair up because I just don't like the way, like, it looks down. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not my favorite way um, I would style my hair. And it is getting a little bit better now that I'm, like, kind of brushing through it a bit. Um, but, yeah, just, like, not my favorite not my favorite style on me per se so if you like your hair with a tighter curl you might actually really enjoy these and i feel like it's going to be healthier for your hair because your hair isn't touching the barrel like there's a barrier between it so like i said it kind of helps out with your, like the it helps out without damaging your hair as bad but for me like i said i don't really know how much i'm going to gravitate towards it so i don't know but it was only like I think it was $35. Um, I will link it down below for you guys. Um, so unfortunately, yeah, to me this was a fail. I actually really thought I was going to like it. I was actually like really excited for it. Um, yeah, it's not for me. Um, but in the comments down below, tell me what hair tool I should try next. Because this one was a flop, so I want to try a new good hair tool next. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next. And if you guys like this video... Regardless if I don't like how my hair turned out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!